What's up YouTube, Vape King here and today's review is on the cotton bacon. So like I say, today's review is on the cotton bacon and um, before I go through what I like and what I don't like, let's dive up close, have a look at it, see how it comes. I'm going to re-wick this RDA. Uh, my setup is my stainless steel full hand with the Doge V2 on there. My coil build is a twisted 28 gauge dual coil reading at a 0.3 ohms. So remember if you're new to vaping, um, don't sub home, don't use mechanical mods, do your research, do as much research as you can and um, before you get into rebuilding, know your ohms law, battery safety and just like I say do your research. So like I say we'll dive up close and personal, have a look at it, re-wick this RDA, come back up and we'll talk on it and we'll vape on it. So here we are up close with the cotton bacon comes in this nice plastic sort of like packaging with a, a zip seal at the top to keep it fresh. So that's the front. That's the back. You can pause the film and read that if you want. So I just want to point out it doesn't contain any bacon in it. It's just the way that the cotton is inside. It's a bit like streaky bacon, that's how you pull it away. So, like I said, it's got a zip top. So, so it comes in fresh pack like that. So basically, as you can see there, it's like strands that you pull away. So, like I say, it's like that's why they call it bacon because it's a bit like, and it is a really, really clean bit of cotton. And they're right nice and fluffy. So basically that's it. That's up, up, up close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-wick my RDA. You can have a look at my build as well. So I won't need all of that. So what I'll do is I'll just knock myself a bit off there. So here, if I just adjust my camera a bit, um, I've got my Foo hat in here, and I've got the Doge V2 sitting on top of there. That's what I'm going to be re-wicking. And on here, I do have a if it gets if it focuses. There we are. Um, a twisted 28 gauge build in there, dual coil, and that's a 2.5 diameter, and reading at 0.3 ohms. So, with my cotton here, I'm just going to pull away, I'll just show you like this, and then just roll it like that, and then just pinch the end like that, like you would normally re-wick, I don't need to tell you how to re-wick so. but if you're new to building this is how you re-wick and then just push it through the coils like that and then I just roll and pull, roll and pull like that and then just fluff it back out again With the other piece, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to tug at it a bit. So that's a bit. Sorry if I'm breathing heavily. Just a bit too much on there. So and then just curl the end, and then do exactly the same here. Get this to focus. Do the same thing, just like that. And all I'm going to do is just kind of neatly trim 
to the ends. I'm not going to take too much off because these coils are high. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and then just tuck this into the juice well. Like that. I'm going to keep underneath my coil some air so as long as it's touching the juice well and then same on the other side tuck that in there and then if I get out of the way you can see me tuck that in there and I'm just going to do the same just going to leave a hole under there and that's it worked sorry about the heavy breathing so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just drip some of this Mr. Good Vapes here. This is um, Moon Sugar. It's really nice to you, so we'll be doing a review on this one soon. So all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just saturate these wicks. Whoops, got a bit of spillage there. Take that off. Put that on. Try again without spilling it, and then I'm just going to just saturate these. And then do the same on the other side, just want to saturate that, that wick there, everywhere on the coils. Sorry, I keep going out of camera view. And then it's nice and juicy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick my battery in. And just give it a fan. There we are. Okay, and then now we'll go back up top and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. So we're back from the up close and personal. Um, I've been using this for over a week now um, when I first tried it um, it didn't agree with me I'll be honest with you um, it didn't agree with me so I thought give it a bit of time let it work on me let me put it through its paces and we'll go through there now compared to what I normally use I have noticed a big difference in the way my juices taste and unfortunately for me it's not my preference of wicking material Okay, I find that um, when I re-wick a device, it has a breaking in period. I have to drip three or four times before I get the maximum performance out of the wick. To me, it tastes really cottony, like it would a normal cotton ball, only just, you know, slightly tastier. But to me, it has got that breaking in period. And I do find that my juices that I use, the flavour for me it is slightly muted. I don't get like the full on flavour that I do when I use my normal uh, wicking material. So like I said, I have noticed a difference. But on the plus side, it is very clean, super absorbent. Like I say, it's just not my preference of um, wicking material. Everybody's different, you know. Like I say, this is just my opinion um, of this wicking material. Everybody's different, whether it's juice, wicking material, RDAs, mods, and what have you. To me, it's my opinion. It doesn't agree with me, this wicking material. I prefer the wicking material that I normally use because um, I feel like I get better flavour from it. Um, I like the way it's nice and fluffy and um, I like the way it wicks. It wicks really, really well, but like I say, for me, the flavour is just is a really muted um, for me. So it's not my preference of wicking material, you know, to be fair with you, I don't like it. So my marks for this wicking material, I'll have to give a six out of 10, but this is my opinion, like I say. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to give 
the remainder of what I have this away. So if you're watching this um, video, just comment below, make a comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And um, in a week's time, um, I'll give the remainder of what I have of this away for somebody to try. If you've used it and you have a different opinion on it, please comment below. And um, whoever wins this, what I've got left as well, also, please get back to me, tell me what you think to the wicker material, it might work for you. But unfortunately, it doesn't work for me. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion, whether I got it at a discounted price or I got it free or whatever. That's not going to sway my opinion on what I use and the what experience I've got out of the product. Okay, so I hope this video helps. Don't forget to check out Vapors Village where I purchased this from, vaporsvillage.co.uk. Sarah, she's a real lady. They've got some cool stuff on their website as well. She did send me some sample e-juices with this, but I did get a package as well, which I'll be uploading after this as well, of some Hoff sauce juices. So I'll do all that um, review together with the samples that I've got with this on my vape mail video okay so don't forget if you want to win this don't forget to comment below don't forget to subscribe like and comment and as always vape safe take care of yourself and the people around you and i'll see you shortly